TV series Men Behaving Badly has been an incredible success. In fact, it's been nominated for all sorts of awards at the British Comedy Awards on Saturday. If you're a woman, it simply confirms all the worst things you've ever thought about men. It's a sort of hint of blokishness, brilliantly played by Martin Clunes and Neil Morrissey, a pair of flatmates from hell. <laughs> And this is it with the harmonica. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. Okay. Hello. 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 Congratulations on it. We'll, we'll plug the book in a minute, all right? Yeah, that's all right. right. Yeah. 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 We should say that we'll see you looking sort of tense and, and anxious on Saturday night. Drunk. Yeah. Oh, drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will have to make a speech if you win, won't you? On the comedy horse. On yeah. the comedy horse, because you, well, everyone <laughs> except you. <laughs> <laughs> There's been nominated. What are you, what are you saying? Should I? What are you saying? You've been nominated as the funniest man in the world. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Almost a matter of fact. Yes. And who else has got nominated? Caroline's got a nomination. Yeah, but it's women the writer's got a nomination. <laughs> and the programme itself has got a nomination. <laughs> And I think they're sending me to Leicester. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I think oh, that comes back. That's, that's <laughs> really me. It is. It's pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> So you'll be there, you both be there, won't you? Yeah, yeah we'll be there. I'll be sitting at the table looking very forlorn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be there? But I'll tell you what, no, we're not. We no, can't be here. Yeah. But if you do win, and I'm sure you will, you're going to have to do a Chris Evans and call Neil up and say that, like he did with Gary, Come on, with me. Without, Come share my without Neil, I would be nothing. <laughs> yeah. you know, without Neil. Right. You declare you're not, and then we'll knock out a single for Christmas. And that's <laughs> 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 well, then you're Hodor. How many shows has it been in? No, four. four. That was the yeah, that yeah. was the fourth, the last. Yeah. yeah. But it's going to be there's going to be oh, more. We're going to do yeah. 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 We're doing one next year, making it in the spring, a bit out in the summer. Mm. Yeah. I think it's very funny. I mean, I didn't think that the central joke of men behaving badly would, would be run for more than a series. To be honest, I thought, yeah, okay, fine. But, but you, you, you yeah. made it work. Yeah, well, that's the writer. It's Simon. Nice. He's absolutely fantastic. fantastic. I thought it would all dry up when he had a baby. <laughs> Um, and stop being a yacht. He did. Well, it's, uh, yeah, which yeah. changes men, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but it didn't. <laughs> it feels got fun. Turned sicker. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the reason it works and the reason why women love it so much as well is it, it has, it, it's really very innocent in yeah. a funny kind of yeah. way, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, because it's, it's all based around their naivety as opposed yeah. to them sort of conniving and being, yeah. you know, people tend walking down the streets tend to sort of try and make bottom jokes at us, do you know what I mean? Yeah, sort yeah. of dirty humour. Yeah. Whereas actually the programme isn't about that at all. It's more about uh, naivety and ignorance you know, yeah. than, than and it is. It's about not let's do wrong. It's like, what have I done? What, what's what's the, the problem? Yeah, it's, it's, totally, it's, yeah. Also, it's also a beautiful caricature of blokishness. I mean, it's, the blokes aren't really quite like that, but they're just, it's just close enough, you know, to make, I think a lot of single guys feel a little uneasy. God, am I like that? Well, I think we've, we've got a clip. Can we just see this one? Which one's this? Oh, that's not the good girls have got okay. the dignity, so I've come up with this point system, you see? <laughs> the one with the most points gets to go out of me. Oh, yeah, these are the categories I've come up with. Appearance. Appearance. Appearance naked. Yeah. <laughs> Joke telling skills. Ability to be humorous. Yeah. A command of certain basic household tasks. Ten points for each category. Oh, so who's winning? Well, Herbert played a blinder in the appearance naked section. <laughs> you just edged ahead head there. But there's everything to play for as we go into the next round. <laughs> hey, I tell you what. Being as you're my best mate, you can go out with either of the unlucky losers. No, I couldn't. Come on. No, I couldn't. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your mother'd like it, do they? Sorry? I bet your mother'd like it. Do yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, my mum really likes it. Yeah, yeah. Really. Yeah, but yeah, mothers don't like to see their offspring in something they don't like, or but that yeah. it's sort of. Well, my mum's given up on me. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you're naked in the, in the last feature film you make. Oh, um, yeah. What that scene kind of sums up though is, is and it, that is very true. Men's total confidence when women aren't there about women. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's all hey, it's easy. Yeah, yeah. 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 true. Yeah. Yeah. It all falls apart yeah. when you're actually faced with the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I believe I can't speak. From personal experience, but I think uh, women have a similar confidence in our actions, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's quite as rubbish as that. Oh, well, I just believe it. <laughs> women always say this, you know. Women always say this. Have you ever accidentally gone into a woman's toilet? Can 
I have. Have you seen not the big Bentley Richard? No. <laughs> 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 what's, what's going on here? I thought this was a daytime it only, show. It only happened <laughs> once a week. <laughs> you know, but, but the graffiti in there is something. To, it makes the graffiti in men's toilets like you know sort of take it like men's. Like, I, I, I took notes. It's not here at the dock, but no. oh, come on, it's true. You must have been in women's loose and in. It's just very explicit, isn't it? No, I need to get the pen into the toilet, don't you? <laughs> Work it out with the pencil. Yeah. Yeah. Recognise the handwriting. I mean, I, I once worked with um, a male sub editor um, in a newsroom who. I mean, I have to say, I mean, they were the best one in the world. It was it's very far from. No, 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 no. It was very far from being God's gift to women. Very, very far from being God's <laughs> gift to women. But he kept a pile of those girly magazines, those soft porn magazines, underneath his desk. And every lunchtime, without fail, he'd get them out and he'd start slabbering over them and saying, oh, it was just like. Actually, but because he wasn't as nice as you two, I didn't like him. Yes, no, I don't he like wasn't him funny either. About <laughs> him. I don't think he's very nice. Yeah, <laughs> Which paper did you go on to edit? I'm not I think it's one, one of those children's magazines that they had on earlier. I can see you getting wrestled to the point, so move on. You didn't write this, though, did you? Write this. The A to Z are behaving badly, because if something yeah. worth doing, it's worth doing badly. It's yeah. Not my fault. What is it? Well, it's written by the guy who's written the series, Simon Nye, so it's, it's really true to the form of the show. Right. But it goes from A to Z, and basically it's a manual of how to be like the guys on the telly. You know, <laughs> you think it will sell? Oh, it will. It's yeah, so big, will. like hot cake. Yeah. It, girls yeah. will buy it for their boyfriends. Yeah, we're down at, yeah. uh, what's yeah. it called? Yeah. Uh, is it Dylan's bookshop? Yeah. We're doing Dylan's in Liverpool this afternoon. Well, that's why you're yeah. here, is it? Yeah, we're plugging that as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up, we're, we're up to Dublin as well. We're going to go meet Bill, he's a good mate of ours, and he's asked for, a, you know, he's asked for an audience with us so he can sort of take it to America with him. You know what I'm talking about. It's, it's very eclectic, isn't it? Everything, you've got Nat's piss here. That's right, oh, yeah. Right. Sorry, I just opened the page. You were allowed to say the word. I think you should say that. Um, Stagnites. Yeah. That's all right. Zodiac, alternatives. <laughs> it's, it's all good stuff. And the emphasis on the mate. I yeah. mean, the, the, these blokes, they've got to yeah. have yeah. a mate. And their mate comes first over everything. That's right. In fact, the first thing you, you, get, you get to in the thing is the mate's charter before we get into things. I totally and utterly agree that mates are the most important thing in the world, except for our quite reasonable dreams that one day we will go to spend, uh, one day we will get to spend of delirious sexual abandon, either with Kylie or the girl who plays Nicole in the Cleo outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then you start from there. Real fine. Yeah, you, mates. Know, you could play Paul McCartney, couldn't you? Yeah. Right. That's a yeah. right. That's a right. Yeah. I don't like to say about anyone. Anyway, I can see. Oh, Paul, you know what I'm saying? Ringo, 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 <laughs> it looks like they're doing something else, but I won't say what. <laughs> you don't say think... very much. You're not saying very, very much. I'm fond of it. I'm over. How are you? Uh, everybody is this morning. Liam, we saw, we were in America last week and we saw the last two Beatles things. And actually, Ringo is a very funny bloke. He's very dry. Have you, have you seen him as a person of wet? As opposed to wet, absolutely <laughs> boring. <laughs> He'd just come out of the shower and he was still dry. And one of the country's top drummers. Yeah. <laughs> no, look, I know, isn't it? He's a good drummer, Ringo. No, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand why people say he's not a good drummer. He drank. I don't either. I mean, yeah. he's played that one rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> and he clearly kept it up as That's well. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. Like, <laughs> what are you doing next? So apart from comedy awards, apart from the next series of this and the book. Cooking? You want to tell us about it? I'm doing another film in the summer. Oh, yeah. And I'm oh, in it. Oh, in it. Oh, yeah. Good. I'm, I'm not in it. I'm directing it. And um, uh, Christopher Lloyd, we just heard last week, it's going to be. You know the guy from. From. Um, the about the, the future, future, the professor. The professor. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to play a, oh, a, a killer with a titanium valve in his heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what are you in it? I'm a chef. Um, so, right, and I'm coming for a bit of a chat in a minute, mate. He told us that before we'd have had you in that kitchen. I would I'd love a bit of cooking, would you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get you in there. Lovely. Um, it's somewhere over time now, but thank you very much for coming in. I really enjoyed that, thank Great. you very much. See you again. Yeah, even though we said the P word. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Get on the phone. We'll get our knuckles to that. Oh, I will. Oh, dear. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. No, no problem. Um,